So this is just a quick survival kit tip. How many of you have seen one of these before? Seems to be included in every one of them these days. Pick them up on eBay for um, under 10 bucks or uh, over 30 depending on who you want to pick it up from. And it's basically a rod of some ferrocerium magnesium alloy along with a uh, metal scraper which also claims to be a bottle opener, a ruler, some kind of radius gauge and who knows what else. And operation's pretty simple. Here begins the problem. It's an emergency, survival situation, you want to light a fire. So we've got a little bit of paper there. Now typically the advantage of this thing will be sold as something along the lines of can survive getting wet, lasts like a hundred thousand strikes, two, three, four, generally more reliable than matches, I mean matches are pretty bad when they get wet. This is the thing, this doesn't, doesn't really do a great deal because those sparks aren't terribly high energy. So one of the other strategies that sometimes gets used is we just slowly scrape some off it to make a little pile of flammable metal shavings in here. Yep. You have to get the, the pressure right to not end up letting off a spark and prematurely igniting the whole lot. It's a bit fiddly. The other thing I've generally seen done is you've got to carry like some completely dry paper. The other thing people sometimes carry is some sort of tinder. Now this is dryer lint. Um, if you have a clothes dryer, it can be found in the filter, which is the bit with the warning sticker on it that says clean out every load. Now you know why. So this is a little easier to ignite, maybe. By the way, could you actually imagine doing this while you're freezing cold, soaking wet, hypothermia is setting in, you can't use your hands properly because you're cold, and yet you've got to get this thing on the right angle, use the right amount of pressure, and keep it aimed at the right spot? Especially when it's the kind of thing you'd pack into the survival kit and never have used before. There we go. So that um, smells horrific, but there we go. The bit of paper's on fire, which is what we wanted. So what am I getting at with this? Well, there's a little device that's available for much less money and actually does a far better job. It's called a cigarette lighter, um, available for about two to three dollars a piece. It's smaller than this. It's cheaper than this easier to use, far quicker, and, but I mean you say it's not great in a survival situation, it might get crushed or damaged or otherwise broken, so will this, that rod is actually quite brittle metal, um, it's actually fairly fragile, if that gets stepped on you can crack the rod in half and then it's pretty much useless, or at least would be incredibly hard to use with a really short stroke. But for the cost of that, you can get two or three of these. Now, I mean, it's not waterproof, you say? Well, you'll find it actually floats. <laughs> and there we go. Shake the water out and it lights up. But what happens if you run out of gas on this? Well, thing is, with this, you're eventually going to run out of things which are lightweight and flammable enough to be able to directly set on fire with this. I wouldn't want to be trying to set a small twig on fire with one of these, but with this, you'd probably succeed. A lot of loose, loose leaf litter, grass, you'd probably find it quite hard to get this to make it burn. So really, you'd need to be carrying something like this, or some completely dry paper if you wanted success. So really, so yeah, the humble cigarette lighter, widely available, smaller, cheaper, lighter, just as waterproof and a much better inclusion in your emergency kit. 
just doesn't have the same kind of, uh, you know, tactical outdoors type appeal. Handle's already, um, handle has already cracked on that.